There certainly should be a high degree of scrutiny with regard to uh, hold points uh, and review of temporary works designs. Uh, in addition, um, perhaps consideration should be given to some form of a pre-qualification scheme so that um, only companies that are experienced in uh, temporary works design and have the appropriate track record and uh, relevant personnel uh, can do that work. One of the keys is uh, having uh, companies with a strong depth of capability and experience both in permanent works design and temporary works design. Uh, Oricon does both. We believe our experience in permanent works design enhances our capability in temporary works design and uh, vice versa. We've got a number of projects which we think exemplify that. Uh, recently we did uh, a major upgrade to the Sydney Harbour Bridge. It involved extensive temporary works design. Um, for that project uh, we were building over eight lanes of traffic and uh, two train tracks. Uh, the uh, eight lanes of traffic carried 270,000 vehicles per day. Uh, the project was very successful, uh, RMS were very happy with it and uh, it won uh, awards from WorkCover for its safety record. Uh, we followed that on with a uh, project for the Anzac Bridge in uh, the major upgrade to the maintenance system on that project and uh, more recently in Hong Kong for the Tiuan Mun Chip Black Cock um, peer design, temporary works design that uh, Oricon has uh, successfully undertaken. So clearly uh, the designers need to be very familiar with the uh, relevant codes and standards. Oricon has several people involved in the, uh, the bridge codes and standards so uh, we can bring that to bear on our uh, temporary works design. Uh, well, one way is uh, documentation in 3D. Uh, Oricon is now routinely designing bridges in 3D and documenting them in 3D. Uh, this makes it a lot easier as far as gap detection and clash detection is concerned. Uh, the method of our documentation is we're drawing elements, not lines. We can effectively build a, a virtual bridge um, element by element uh, on the screen and uh, that can make it a lot easier to uh, check if there's any uh, uh, errors or omissions. So a good example of that is uh, on the Barangaroo Point project which was uh, effectively a large cavern covered with uh, a multitude of uh, precast bridge girders. Uh, the girders were of diff different lengths, different locations, uh, uh, different detailing and uh, we detailed it all in uh, with the 3D documentation. Uh, that made the fit up very easy and uh, the, uh, the actual time taken to erect the girders went, went very well. In addition we assisted the contractor by um, using that model for uh, positioning the cranes and, um, and effectively allowing uh, a, a whole speedy erection process.